What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and welcome back to another design tutorial. This is part three in a series about Spotify album artwork design styles. If you haven't watched part one and two, go back and check them out because they were a lot of fun. But we're gonna be using some of those techniques and applying them to today's episode where we make the famous Spotify duotone style. As always, the process starts with bringing in a photo. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my photo in just like that. I am gonna be really, really honest. I picked this photo because it doesn't need a lot of extra work. It's a free photo. The background behind him is really, really simple. And when I apply my layers, you're barely gonna see those really faint clouds. I don't even need to do any sort of object selection and refinement. I can just work on it like this. On a complete side note, if you're interested in what type of music I listen to on Spotify while I am designing, I have created an amazing playlist for you designers out there. Go check it out, follow the link down in the description to rock out with me with what I'm rocking out so I can be rocking out with you while we're rocking. We could all just rock out together. The three things you gotta do to really turn this photo into a duotone piece of album art is first, you gotta work with the adjustment layers. Second, you gotta find good colors. And three, you gotta master the blending modes. You put all those three together, mwah, you have a beautiful recipe for duotone. I'll show you how. The first thing we're gonna do is add our adjustment layers. You know how to do that. We did that in the second version of this. Go back and watch it. But I'm gonna do it and fast forward. Let's go. Okay, so we've gone ahead and added three adjustment layers. We've added our HSL, we've added our brightness and contrast, and some level adjustments, just to make him really contrasty and to really pop. I want extreme lights and extreme darks to work with when I start adding the colors to make it duotone. The next piece of the puzzle is to choose colors that work well to create this duotone style. Usually you're looking for contrasting colors on the color wheel, but sometimes you can mix and match colors to get other interesting effects as well. But when you're looking for your contrasting color palette, you're looking for one to be a little bit deeper and richer in hue and want to be a little bit more vibrant and obnoxious. But right here, right now, we're gonna add our colors and to do that, we're just gonna draw out two shapes. I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna do a second shape. You can see I've added two squares to my layers panel. You always wanna put the darker color on top, the more muted darker color on top of the two, and the brighter, more obnoxious color on the bottom. So I'm gonna grab my first layer, and I'm gonna go for a dark color, almost like a bluish purple color. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that layer and grab my next shape and look for something a little bit more on the obnoxious, pink side of things, and I've gone ahead and filled that in. Now, the real magic happens now when I take these two layers and apply the blending styles that will make the duotone effect happen. So we wanna turn on our first one, our bright, obnoxious color, and we want to multiply. And the reason we wanna multiply is because we wanna see all the way through and get all the details of our subject. The next thing we're gonna do is go to our darker layer with our kind of bluish purple. We're gonna turn that on, and we're gonna drop it down to lighten. So you can see as I just scroll down to lighten, there was a lot of weird effects that were going on. Those could be really fun to play with. But when you hit lighten, it's just selecting some of the portions of it. This is really working with the shadows and the highlights if you've ever done color correction before. The last step is just to add in the text and the Spotify logo to make our album cover really come to life. So you can see we have one style, but if I look over in my layers panel, I'll just drag it over so you can kind of see real close. But I have a couple different colors set up that you could play with. As we jump through these color combinations, you can see some really fun styles. It's really about experimentation here, but using that multiply and that lighten to kind of pop those colors out. Well, that's it. That's how simple it is to make that cool duo tone album art effect using Affinity Photo. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I make lots of videos about design and development and tutorials just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions about this tutorial at all, leave them down in the comments. And also make sure to check the description for that playlist so you can rock out with me and the starting Affinity Photo file so you can make your duo tones really quickly and easily. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, designing amazing things, making amazing things, and rocking out to some sweet music. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you later.